With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Hmm. New map. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. Tread cautiously into the wetlands. I want to check out, see if this has changed. Nope, it's still the same. Whoop. Yeah, it's still wolf cub. It looked different though. I'm going to try to get that combination. It's not as easy as I thought it would be. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. Ooh, nice effect. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke, pass one of my trials and I will be yours, in a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. Should I give this guy the Devit voice? Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. I'm going to try that for a while. It spoke again. But first, you will choose a trial. The trial of bones. The three drawn cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. So courage is bones? <laughs> Let's see, four attack power. Yeah, that seems the easiest, right? Because... Yeah. Yeah, four attack power. Let the trial of power begin. One. <laughs> Good luck. Ah! One from the mantis, one from the stoat, one from the wolf cub. Failure, the creature whispered as it faded into the blackness. Alright, do I want more items? Yeah, I want more items. A powerful item. Turn this and I'll skip my next turn. Ooh, that is a really powerful item. The fan, make it flying. Change the scales by one. Skip next turn. What's this? Oh, it's a special battle. Are you smart or something he usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones? All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Uh, two, three, seven. Okay, cool. I don't know why it just... Okay, it must have just skipped right there because... Uh, oh, probably because of this. Okay. Alright, two, th two, seven, three. <laughs> Let's get that right. Two, seven, three. Two, seven, three. Low, high, medium. Two, seven, three. That's also in the mighty leap, so we can look at it again, probably. All right, long elk. Oh yeah, that's a, what? It, it looks so different now. It looks horrible. I hate it. It looks completely different than it did when I chose it. I know. I went to the rule book. Okay, what do I want to do? Can I? Can I draw a card in the first turn? All right, four bones. This looks... All right. Uh, squirrel first, I guess. And we can do... Bullfrog, stoat. Which one? Are they flying? They're defense against flying, so... Uh, so there's no use for flying. Total misplay. Yeah, you keep your comments to yourself. 
Oh, they're also flying. Huh. Okay, what do I want? I could put the bullfrog on. Yeah, I could get rid of both of those. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. There you go. All right, now we got a couple of attacks. Have you dealt damage to me? I'm. Why am I using the mouse wheel? You've dealt one damage to me. So, um, some of the enemies are going to die. So I don't need a squirrel at the moment. Mantis, it's a good one. All right, I'm good with my turn. Oh, you had a mantis too. Okay, so... Okay, we're even again. I have a mantis, put it here. Seems like a good thing to do. So let's draw a squirrel and put the mantis there. Do I have enough? I do have enough bones. Yeah. Oh, that gave me a bone. Uh, let's draw a squirrel. And we can play the squirrel and defend. That seems like a good idea. <laughs> All right, it's flying. And we don't have to play anything else. We could just wait. One attack, one attack. And yeah, we're just gonna win. I have to draw something. Haha. -ha. I win. Haha. -ha. This game is addicting. I've been playing for like an hour and a half and I, I just want to keep playing. It's so fun to play. I hope it's as fun to watch as it is to play. The trial of power. The three drawn cards must have at least four attack power combined to pass. The trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood to pass. Must possess at least six health. Well, we're not doing health. I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> this again? It didn't work again. Do I have so few enemy uh, creatures that have more than one health? Well, let's power somebody up. Okay. Maybe I should do the sigil one, because look at all these sigils. <laughs> what is this one? Grow into more powerful form after one turn. Can I, like, get something to be even more powerful? Like, what if, like, can I do the mantis? It's me. Oh yeah, let's let's make you more powerful. What do you turn into? Yeah, all right. Do you turn into something or are you just a more powerful stoat? What do we got this time? Defense against flying. Ever look in the rule book? Oh yes, I did. I forgot. 273. There's the passcode in there. We're looking up the bullfrog sigil. Yeah. I forgot. After this one, we'll do it. 273. So you got a bee and a bullfrog and a stump. No need to address the stump. Let us... Let's put you on the board. You have three health, you have only one attack. Uh, 
let's put you there. Bye. Enough. All right, so you're just a more powerful stoke. All right, what do I need? Squirrel if I want to do anything. Um, right. I want wolf, cub, and squirrel. Okay. Um, it's just a bee. And you're a stump. So I'll just grab a squirrel and pass my turn. We good. Ah, oh, that mantis. Well, at least you get to overkill. And now that we have a squirrel, let's grab this wolf cub. Ooh, we can do. Hmm. No, I want my stoat to be there. Um. Hmm. We could do it though. Hello, spider. It's gone. Wolf cub and squirrel. If I sacrifice, I don't want to sacrifice that guy though. So. So, let's put wolf cub somewhere else. I, I got a B for some reason. Why did I get a B? <laughs> oh, it's the good wolf. And that turned into a full wolf. Wolf is powerful. This B doesn't require anything to be placed. Awesome. Uh, so I think I will use the bee as an extra squirrel. Let's go. So the beehive just gave me another bee. Okay. I'm just gonna win this turn, so... So there. I should probably put in this passcode now for the sake of continuing on the actual game. Two, seven, three. Stink bug. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape what I... Uh, is, is the stoat around? The stunted wolf? His madness must end. Put that away. I can put the key back. I still think this might have something to do with something. Although, the enemy's side m might have to be empty. I guess I can open this now. Ooh, is this a combination? Two, one, one, three, one, three, one, three. What do we got here? Some kind of sliding puzzle. There's symbols, paws, arrows, cards. Zero out of five something.
So, it looks like we might not be able to do anything with this right now. Two, one. Oh, I can choose which direction I slide it. <laughs> I was confused about that. One, three. I don't, I don't know what any of this means, so I guess we can't do it. What? Two out of five? One out of five. Oh, it's, it's this game. So this one's correct. Three out of five. This one's correct. These three are correct. What if they're all right there? They're all right there. I got a skink. Forgot that I put that there. Very well. You may add it to your deck and I'll deal you one every so often. All right. Two out of five. One out of five. One out of five. Two. One. This one cannot move. Just one. Two. Three. Two. So I think I need to be able to move this lizard before I can do it. Three out of five? Okay, so as long as anything is in this spot... Alright. Uh... It went down to one somehow. Okay, no, th never mind. Okay, this is the best for this one. Two. 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 All five. Got it. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well, I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. All right, cool. There's uh, nothing in here, of course, because we already got that one. What about down here? Zero. This one cannot move. Also zero. One. Zero again. One. Three. One. Four. Three. Three. So I can get four. But I can't move this one. If I change this, then it's, it's still four, apparently. And then I got it open. I don't know what the rule is for solving these puzzles. I'm just guessing and checking. Caged wolf. Curious. Ooh, I got the caged wolf card. The card for that wolf in the cage. One. Two. Two. So this doesn't seem to make a difference. Yet. Two again. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Two. Five. I want- there's gotta be- okay, so I solved all of these by guessing and checking. So... If there are more puzzles like this, don't say anything, but if that was the last of the puzzles like this, then let me know what the solution is, what the rule is for solving these. Without having met her, this wood carving is meaningless. 
In time, you will understand its power. All right. So we've unlocked all those. Caged wolf, come out. All right. Hmm. Oh, I can change the hands with these. I didn't find that before. All right, neat. Uh, what was that combination? Two, seven, three. It's not gonna be the same one. Okay, whatever. This one also wouldn't be too hard to brute force. You just sit here for like 20 minutes, get all the numbers. Not gonna do it. Anyway, for me, this is gonna be the end of a play session. See you in five seconds. <laughs> Don't get to alter my deck. Left saved eight minutes ago. Options. Options. No, don't reset save data. Can I save? No, okay, so I think I might have to actually save. I might actually have to do one more deck to save. So the thing I said about five seconds, never mind. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. A blood, two blood, three blood. So I assume I can't permanently lose my stoat. Uh, do the three. The regal moose, the creatures of the wild make way for it. A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? <laughs> uh... <laughs> now, have I saved? Last save segment seconds ago. Okie dokie. Alright, I'll see you in seven more seconds. Here we are. I can't go through here, apparently. This is the only way to go. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. What is he saying? Stop this. This wolf looks alive, like the stoat. I'm not doing the stoat. How about... I have ants? Not pleasant. What are you? Eh. Stinky, the creature opposing a card bearing the sigil, loses one power. Ooh, that's nice. That's skink. What is that? Our bearing sigil will be struck. A tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Nice. Okay. What do I not care? What do I care a little about? Probably this one. Has a lot of health. What's that? End of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction described by the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Okay. I don't know if I want... That could be strategic. But also it costs three. I don't know if I want it. You callously slaughtered the moose buck. However, the bone lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the bone lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. Awesome! You shook off the viscera of the poor moose buck and carried onwards. 
All right, so you do get permanent upgrades. That's good. So every time you game over, it's not like you're starting over from the beginning of the game. What have we got? Thanks for the bone. You again. Indeed, our friend and freed me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. Alright, what are we looking at? I can't read what that... Uh, Kingfinger? Kingfisher? That's a kind of bird. Bat. Kingfisher, what is this? When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Alright. So I need to have only powerful things up there. Alright. I can put up the squirrel, of course. Squirrel goes. And sure. And uh, they're all flying, so they're all going to attack over it. And the only thing I could do would be to sacrifice it for something else. That would be a waste of cards. Phew. Yeah, that was bad. What have you turned over? Why? Why did you turn over? Why can't I click this? Alright, um... What do I want? If I do a squirrel, I can put the stoat in. But I need to be able to have... What does this do? Loses one power. That would be good. And I have enough bones. I had enough bones last time. I need to draw a card. Um... What do those turned over cards do? I'm worried. The boulder does not... Okay, I have this. Okay, fine. I'll draw a card first. Um, this card. Put the squirrel up. Sacrifice for the stoat. And keep me alive. Oh yeah, because you get more powerful next time. I can do the stink bug. I shall do here. Make the bat lose a power. What'd you say? Back in the game. I'm gonna use this. That is, I don't like, it's like I'm pulling my own tooth. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Just in case, you know, I don't want to... To... From here, those lily pads look like threes. It's scary. Alright, I don't have any cards left. Don't have anything left I can do. I could have, um... Huh. Still in the game. Alright, you're kept alive. Um, bones? Bones? Aww. What is this? No, value presented will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Alright. The only way I can play this is to sacrifice something, which I don't want to do. Oh, when they're turned over, they can't be attacked. That's awful. I need, I need something that's defense against defense against flying not defense against flying but it is insta death four bones I don't have four bones um right you're not being attacked so I might as well uh sacrifice you So that I can get a bone. And then place you... Where do I want to place you? I think it's... I want to place you here. I guess. Still in the game. What are you placing? River Otter. There's just one. What does this do? Submerges itself during opponent's turn when submerged opposing creatures attack its owner directly. So that's that's what these have, I guess. Alright, four bones. I have two bones. I'm gonna pull something here. A possum. Two bones! Alright, that's fine. I'll just put it here. 
<laughs> and hope the tables just turn. Stop that. And hope that I can just... Just win. <laughs> Alright, I won. I gave you some extra teeth, too. I am recording, right? Just always gotta check once per session. Am I recording? Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. I don't think I want that. The involved, in, in, inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. And square. I'll take myself. I have a feeling that maybe powering up myself will have something to do with the plot. Oh yeah. I can take two things. What is this? Skip the next turn. Yep, I'll take that. I got two of them? Boss time. I'm gonna use these glasses this turn. And I get the smoke. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. What's wrong with that? He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. Okay, the rotting fish is what's wrong with it. I am the angler. Go fish! The angler, mind his hook, play a squirrel or something, when he aims it, that will protect your best cards. When, play a squirrel when he aims the hook, okay. Yeah, I can do the smoke, which is, what, get four bones? Right? When it dies, four bones, all right. Uh, sure. What is that? It's flying? Okay, so I don't want to put it there. Uh, also I can sacrifice it. That's right. Bullfrog. Defense against flying. That's good. Stink bug and skink. Let's do a squirrel. And then the bullfrog. And I can play the stink bug. Good play. Thank you. Which fish are choose? The flying. All right, I get to. Okay, now I want to place a squirrel. There we go. Pressure fish, easy choose. And uh, that's good. That's good. Okay, my frog is gone. My now go fish. Oh, it's yours now. All right. So. I don't like the sounds. I don't like the sounds. Stop it. All right. Um, you do not have any attack cards, at least nothing that can attack smoke. I can sacrifice the smoke. Worker ant, not bad. Um, um, as, uh, as well, right? There you go. Oh, right, I, I won. I get to phase two. Alright, at least you didn't turn everything into, into... Oh, there's only one health? Perfect. Great. Um, I can afford to draw a squirrel now, I guess. And might as well. Oh! 
goldfish. Yeah, oh, oh, okay, okay. You turn those turned into nasties. It's hard to call it cowardly. Oh no, that is so bad. That is so 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 bad. All right. What I need to do is I need to win quickly. Uh, one, two, three, four. I think it's time to use my hourglasses. I'm gonna pull this. I need to sacrifice two. It's an attack of three. That's better than both of those. Yeah, so the, the obvious choice is to... Um... Play the wolf. Play the wolf. And use one of these. I'll pass my next turn. I'm obligated to pass. Alright, now we're good. I shouldn't need to play anything else. Okay. Let me relight your candles. Yeah, that definitely sounds like I'm gonna get more candles later. Very well. You may choose a rare card. A largely unimpressive specimen. Strange larva? But I bet you can grow it into something, right? That thing... Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. Do you have the heart to try? Um... Child 13? Is that a reference? I'm gonna pick this. Because I bet it grows into something good. You consider the angler's catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. You would have to wait 